What's up? Got a best tech knife here. It's in the fancy box. Yeah. Okay. Well, what is this? This is a best tech ghost. Um you know, when I when I bring knives into the channel, for the most part, it's knives that I'm attracted to, right? Like, I don't, you know, people aren't sending me stuff. This is all stuff that I hand pick and buy and bring in here. Well, this was one that intrigued me. It was used, but wrapped as like new or never carried. So, let's take a look at that part first. See if it, ooh, is this thing light? Wow. I mean, I don't see any wear. No wear here. What about the pocket clip? I mean, the front lead and edge, maybe? This carbon fiber feels wonderful. Man, let's get a look at the whole package. Ooh, does that come out of there nice? Stone wash. S35VN. Got the Best Tech logo on this side. I mean, I don't see any scratches. And that definitely looks like a factory edge to me. Look at that needle. Oof, man. It's a glucose checker if I ever seen one. I mean, I'm satisfied. This thing looks stunning. It looks wonderful. I had no idea the knife was this light. Wow, is it light. Look at that action. Drop shut. Very hydraulic, very confident action. It's not sloppy in any way. Can't get that. Oh, man, do I like that. Mm, got a little choke-up spot. She could get up here for some detail work. You know, whatever's going on there. But this grip back here, it helps me get into this jimping right here. Wonderful platform for the thumb. Wow. Man, this thing's light. It must have minimized... Uh, liners like what I mean is only up here I'm gonna guess there's no liner in the back part of this knife I say that but I'm looking right at it there's no liner on this side maybe just up front Wow fairly thin blade stock Love that stone wash, man. Look at this knife. Look at it. Ooh. Yeah, this checks boxes for me. I like it. Let's get in it. Not overly tight. Mm, got the one T8. Everything goes T6 from there. Titanium backspacer. Titanium pocket clip. Got the short one in the front, long one in the back. And I think that should release us right there. Yep. Yeah, full liner here, but that's for the lock. I mean, they, they put a liner in it to get the uh, liner lock. And then this side, yeah, it's got a little minimalistic... Uh, metal liner in there and then just the carbon fiber that seems kind of wedged in there so I'm going to leave it be there's no sense to disturb that if I don't have to and I don't see you know gallons of oil or you know what I mean like there's no, no immediate visual clue to me that I need to take that out of there Oh, the stonewash. 
This S35, golly, this blade is gorgeous. Just wonderful. I mean, I could sand that a little bit with some really fine sandpaper and make that look a hundred years old. I mean, it already kind of does. They definitely hit the high points. You know, these high veins are lighter. I mean, mm -mm 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 -mm. I like it. Had me at hello. Yeah, so this is one, man, I, you know, just scanning the horizon. I definitely didn't know the model. Um, but I saw it for sale, and I was like, hmm, looks interesting. And so then I looked at a bunch of the pictures, and, of course, visually, it was, it was, it was hitting it for me. So uh, I did a price breakdown on it. You know, what I think it's worth. And I made an offer. Took a run at it. And here it is on a bench. And mostly when I'm buying knives now, you know, I'm looking for stuff that I like. And to bring it in. But then I'm looking for a deal that leaves me to believe that I would be able to purge the knife for what I got in it. So at least I can rotate that those funds, you know, with inventory through the channel. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So I, I use a little ethanol and went at this bearing. It looked dirty. And it looks exactly the same. <laughs> it didn't change it one bit. Yeah, look at look at how shiny that one is. That one's kind of, I don't know, tarnished. I guess it's got a little little tarnish on it. <laughs> tarnished reputation. All right, let's put it back together. Mm, yeah, cage down. There we go. I mean, this thing already ran like a million bucks. It's got uh, internal stop pins. And they're actually stopping on the liners on both sides. So good, solid system, reliable. They're not, they're not stopping in the carbon fiber. The liners are providing the uh, stop pin function. Got a lanyard hole. Man, this is going to be a toughie. I can tell already. This is going to be tough. Keep it, purge it. Keep it, purge it. <laughs> oh, the dilemma, man. Because, you know, honestly, I should be purging every knife right now. But I'm not, you know, listen... Y'all are along for the ride on my hoard, my knife hoarding obsession. <laughs> yeah, and this one's just part of it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This thing is so nice, so good. I mean, it's so lightweight. I, the word that comes to mind handling this knife is nimble. It's it's just so light that, I mean, wow. So, mm, it's 
It's got some jimping, but it's not on the top of the flipper tab. It's on the back for like a light switch, which works wonderfully. And I guess you don't need it on the top because it's got a little, it's got a little swoop that just kind of locks your finger in there and I mean, it's A level. The dilemma for me is, is it A plus? It's that good, y'all. Honestly. Just the weight, the the overall, and then, you know, going at it and saying, okay, what? how would I grade this action? I mean, mm -mm -mm. I'm going to leave it at an A. Only because you go A plus, there's no room for better. You know, it's like, uh, that's the best. <laughs> I mean, but I had, man, ergonomics. So, not so confident, confident, very confident. I mean, this is definitely a confident grip moving towards very confident. I am very locked in here. Nice finger guard flipper tab going on. Just allows my finger to drop in there. Great platform for my thumb. These four fingers just wrap nicely around the scales. And it just leaves me so locked in right here. Very confident grip. Uh, reverse grip. Even the platform for the thumb is angled properly for my thumb to cap that. And this is, without a doubt, a very confident grip. And ultra comfortable. Man, is that comfortable. Uh, Pakal, not so much. Wow. Let's check the pocket clip. I didn't see anything that should concern me. It's got pretty sharp looking ramps. We'll see. Yeah, no, look at that. And I love the way that it just kind of steps up right there. It's got a little profile on it. I like it. About a quarter of an inch. Uh, that carbon fiber sticking out there. Excellent tension. Standard jean size material. Yeah, wonderful tension, one hand in, one hand out. My spot in the back pocket, you know, these screws provide wonderful grip to get that in and out. I mean, mm -mm -mm. what about blade contact? None there. And the tip is recessed, so the tip's good, the clip is good, and I'm confident I can handle this knife as long as it's closed. I can handle it. I'm not going to catch a sharp edge. I'm confident that the knife is safe as long as it's closed. Wonderful. Um, how sharp is that sharp looking blade? It looks crazy sharp. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's plenty sharp. Wonderful edge on that S35BN. All right. Golly. Best Tech Ghost. Stonewash. S35BN. Shredded carbon fiber. Full titanium. How much and where can we get one? All right. Well, it's a swing and a miss. So there are a lot of these available. This Ghost. Carbon fiber. Titanium scales. Uh, S35 VN, um, but there, I cannot find one with the stonewash steel. Yeah, it's like this is the only one in existence. It, it, it was made by mistake. <laughs> yeah, I can't find one, but, uh, shredded carbon fiber, uh, S35 VN, they two tone a bunch of these where this is satin. And then this is black, you know, that kind of thing. Um, that's the majority of the ones I found. But 200 is what you're looking at for one of these. This ghost. Um, seems like a bunch for me because there are so many carbon fiber S35VN knives. But man, is this a good one. And the fact that I can't find that stone wash. Makes me, I, I got to put it in the keep a case for now. Yeah, I can't, I can't just go throw it and purge it, man. 
it it is really nice. I really like it, and uh, I'm sure that the titanium version, the other carbon fiber versions, it just it just didn't have the stone wash blade. That's all. Other than that, they were the same. And uh, I mean, do I recommend the knife even with the price point? I do. It's it's a really nice one. I dig it. Uh, backup self defense for sure. Primary self defense. I mean, it's a sweet pea. Legit. Really light. Nimble. Wasn't that the word I used? Nimble. All right. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching.